What's up everybody? I'm doing an awesome tour today with uh, my friend Abby here and she's touring touring Kirby's van. We're gonna get all that information in this tour. I've been wanting to tour this damn van for like a year. Kirby's not here so Abby is uh, an amazing fill-in that knows everything about the van, right? Right. Hi, my name is Abby. Oh, I'm, I'm keeping a lot of what I say okay. in there, by the way, because you are awkward as hell and I love it. <laughs> Damn it, okay. <laughs> my name is Abby. Um, I'm a van builder as well. Uh, I do a little bit of TikTok and I have an Instagram if you want to follow me. That will be... It'll be in the video, don't that, worry. Okay, it'll be in the description and... Uh, in the video? Yeah, don't worry, I'll do an overlay. I got God, you. this is hard. It is okay, hard. You imagine yeah. doing this every day like I do. Or like my boy Kyle behind the camera does. Thank you very much, Kyle, for helping out with the videography. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah. He's been, he, thank you. Yeah, finally, you nice put yourself job. on camera, okay, dude. Okay, yes. Kirby is my very good friend and he's an amazing artist. I was actually and, gonna talk uh, about your van building skills for a second. Oh, okay, go for it. Because uh, she showed me one of her videos last night and dry humor, sarcasm, like- Am I? You're like, oh yeah, you guys don't think I can build? Well, I'm a blonde, blue eyed that knows how to build, what up? Yeah, like, a lot of people wouldn't see it coming, but I work with- You do good work. I work with power tools and uh, I make stuff happen. Well, you so, kill it. Yeah, thank Did you. Did you help Kirby? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's a one man show, like- But you've been friends with him for a long time. About a year. I met him last year at Tiny Fest. What the van is it? Do you do you know that? Yeah, I do <laughs> happen to know that. This is a 2021 Ram Pro Master. 159 inch wheelbase? Uh, 159 wheelbase, yes, okay. that is correct. Also, the B-roll, uh, any B-roll that I do show in this, I believe Kirby is providing for me. So shout out to you, Kirby. Thank you for doing all the B-roll for me, mm -hmm. as in I don't have to do it. Which brings me into, what is this right here? So, right before you walk in. This feature right here is a hidden shower, mm. and a lot of people don't see that coming. Lifts right up here. This curtain lifts up to the ceiling and just sticks right on with magnets. This faucet right here actually pulls out and doubles as a shower head. Okay, cool. Yeah. So when you live in a van, you don't actually use a shower as much as you think you would. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Because so, you were also a van lifer. Right, I have a fixed shower in my van and I actually never use it. So it's really convenient to have something that you can just stow away, throw a rug over and just forget about it if you want to. You're right, he normally does have a rug here, right? Exactly. Yeah. This rug. Oh, the rug that's outside right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a nice, uh, whatever kind a of rug it is. Mat. A welcome right? mat, yeah. Uh -huh. I love his layout, I love his vibe. It's like super chill, right? It is, it's homey. It's homey, thank yeah. you. It's not like a sterile appliance or a dentist office, uh, like a lot of other vans. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. I love that you said it like that. Two swivels in the front and you have your seating here. Right, you do. Yeah. We actually have a mounting spot right here for a lagoon table. So now all of us can sit and eat. Exactly. Do, can you write on these? No, that's wallpaper. It, that's wallpaper? Yeah. It looks like chalkboard, but the lighting is so like well lit in here. Chalk that's an idea, chalkboard. Chalkboard, yeah. yeah. So that's a <laughs> wallpaper that he uses. Uh-huh. That's nifty. Would nifty you do that? Is a word. Nifty Would is a that? word. It's in the English dictionary, it's I believe. It's different, but I believe it can add a nice little accent. All right. It's original. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen that in a van before. All right. Kitchen galley. Is that what he uses as his kitchen galley right there? So you have a two-sided kitchen. Um, you have a sink with this faucet and a filtered water right here. I believe it's a three-stage water filter. Um, and on this side, you have additional space for the induction stove. Oh, cool. Yeah. I wish that Kirby was here because I had one question that I'm hoping you know, but I'm it. thinking he would know. Uh -huh. There's no overhead lighting. I love this. I love this feature because I don't like direct lighting in my face. Mm -hmm. So there's no overhead lighting in the ceiling as you can probably see, Kyle. Is there a reason for that? Is it because his hatred of direct lighting like mine? Or is there another reason of it? I might answer this differently than he would. Okay. But I believe it just sets the ambiance, you know? Cool. Like nothing's more comforting than toe kick lights. But uh, wait. Oh, we Boom. got the red light. Red. All right. How about that? How about that? <laughs> so people's biggest concerns in vans are shower, which we've covered. Mm -hmm. Does he have a toilet in here? He does have a toilet, actually. 
it is also hidden in a place you wouldn't expect it. I was not expecting this, so you're this right. So this pops open and this thing slides out right here and is on 250 pound drawer slides. Okay. So no problems there. The fun thing about this is that you can close the door and look and out the window you. while you're doing your business and maybe somebody will walk by and you'll make eye contact and uh... <laughs> We didn't make it awkward until you just made it awkward. <laughs> It had to be said. There's also shades on those windows, everybody, so it doesn't have to make eye contact how Abby likes to do things, apparently. And there's a front curtain, too, so you can block that all off. I didn't know how fun this tour was going to be, everybody, but here we are. Should I slow down? No, I, actually, I love it. Uh, I'm uh, very entertained. At the <laughs> I want the van to speak for itself, and I think it does. You want to sit opposite me? If you don't mind, I believe we're sitting on a lounge section, which is his you know, bed. This is the bed. We're also sitting on his bed. How does the bed operate? Okay, so you will have to move for me to show you. Okay. Okay. So it's pretty simple. This just slides out. I'm waiting for somebody to do it this way. And sits right there. I know, right? This is a 500 pound rated set of drawer slides. Oh, nice. And it also sits on a lip, so there's a lot of support. You don't have to show the rest. I think we all understand that these cushions go down into that. I, yeah. I would hope we figured that out. I would hope, You right? know, one would hope. So you the back know. the back cushions right here go sit in here and he sleeps this way. Mm-hmm. Side to side. Anybody for that matter, because I believe he sells these. He does, and this one is actually for sale. For sale. Um, he has a name for this. We can put this back. Is that mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Really easy. He has a name for this van, and I believe he calls it Stargazer. That is correct. And is it because we got this massive, massive skylight? Jeez, yeah. Jeez. I believe that is why it is wow. called Stargazer. Because <laughs> if you wanted to, you could gaze at the stars right through the ceiling. Is there a, yeah, you're about to shut that, aren't you? Uh, yeah, and if you want to block out the sunlight during the day, super easy. This is actually a custom piece of tempered glass, and it's walkable. Yeah, it is. So you could actually stand on that. Wow. Yeah, and look down even, in. Even my large ass can stand on that? Uh, are you over 750 pounds? Sometimes I think I am. So, Do you mind if I shut these doors? Yeah, for sure. Because I want to get the whole feel of what this is back here. Do you want the window covers off? There is a vented window here. Really? Yeah, and that's a feature. Oh, look at that. So we might as well. Might right? as well. I just wanted to get the yeah. whole ambiance for the camera and the audience yeah. here. Do you know about the electrical? Okay, great. Okay, yeah. So what is the electrical? So this fan has 200 amp hours of lithium ion, um, a 2000 watt inverter, 400 watts of solar, and it has alternator charging as well. So you're pretty much never gonna have issues with your battery bank. You can run the microwave, a coffee maker, the induction stove, and you'll never have issues. I am truly impressed with this sucker up here. I know, it's mesmerizing. You know, have you ever slept in this van? I'm not saying with Kirby, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, have uh, you ever slept in this van? No, I have not. So you don't know what it's like to look at the stars? That was my point, I guess. No, I don't. No, you haven't, you haven't. You haven't no, I've been in here during a rainstorm though. Really? And that's pretty interesting. How was that? Was it cool looking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I also love the slatted look that he kind of went here, and obviously the curvature of the glass. Now, this is just is this a uh, just a the glass runs the entire length of the van. And he just cut it and make it look that right. way. Right, exactly. So on the outside, it just looks like normal windows. And then this is just all trim work. That is completely original. Yeah. He came up with that himself. It looks like a luxury yacht. Stargazing luxury yacht. Yeah. Is there a reason? The helmet or the light fixture? The light fixture. Is the light fixture part of the helmet? Uh, this light fixture just adds a little bit, uh, it just adds a little bit of character, you know? A little flair? Yeah, a little flair. All right, so I'm looking at this other piece. Mm -hmm. Does this do something? Because it, it looks like there's a lagoon here. Yeah, so okay. this is actually pretty interesting. And um, it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube to solve it. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. Whoa. Now, wait a minute. Did you say a Rubik's Cube because uh, Kirby is obsessed with Rubik's Cubes? Uh, is he? I don't know. There's one right there. Uh, whoa, how did that get there? <laughs> yeah, a Rubik's Cube is kind of his personal branding. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? He just really likes stuff like that. I Complex don't know. puzzles? Exactly, which is exactly what building a van is. See what we did there? The <laughs> Rubik's Cube Stargazer. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. I'm not easy to engineer something like no, that. No, that's that. I mean, it, it like kind of 
tucked away and this is a great workstation, I guess. Exactly. And there's also another mount back here if you wanted to add an additional lagoon table. So he's got three mounts for lagoon tables. He's got one there, obviously, one back here and then one back at the front where that other bench. Exactly. Anything else you want to kind of show me about the inside of the van? Is there anything on the outside that's really happening that we could even talk about? Probably not, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you integrate a sound bar? Oh, yes. Here? So there's a... Wow. I I know the name. It's a Bose Solo 5 sound system. Okay. Uh, wow. Don't quote me on that. It's something like that. But it's a Bose something. Yeah, something. Okay. And that runs on the house batteries. So you can just jam out whenever for however long you want. Is, this a, par cool. is this a party rig? Sometimes. Oh, okay. It could be whatever you want it to be, really. Okay. I love, obviously, his plants. Hopefully uh, somebody takes those down when they drive it. They're actually stuck up there with... I don't want to give away secrets, but Velcro. It might be something like Velcro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that one's a, that one's a tough secret to give away, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Kirby, for giving away your Velcro secrets. There's a Wabasto heater too up front, so. Okay, so it's underneath the seat. Right. So this just taps into the main fuel tank. It's a gasoline Wabasto heater. It keeps it nice and warm in here. The closet too. Oh, please. Yeah. For all of the people that love clothing. I'm assuming this is a nice big closet. This closet can fit 40 t-shirts. That can fit a lot more than that, I, I know. He, just, he wrote in the ad, it writes 40. It no, he fits. did not. He wrote in the ad, yeah. if it's 40 t-shirts. Yeah. Shut up. Kirby, yeah. I'm going to get on you about that one. <laughs> is, is that what, really what he wrote? I swear it is. Oh yeah. my God. Kyle, do you think it that also... fits more than 40 t-shirts? Uh, it can fit at least 40 plus a lot more. It, plus it a uni. It can also fit a unicycle. Kirby can unicycle like 10 miles. He could can unicycle, he unicycle while juggling. Can he, he unicycle while solving in the Rubik's Cube? I believe he probably could, knowing gonna, him. Um, uh, well, let's, let's find out. Yeah, that's your challenge. You need to unicycle while solving in a Rubik's Cube. Kirby is actually quite the extremist. He one wheeled from Canada to Mexico earlier this year in well, with 21 that group, days. With that yeah. group, with that with the team that, that Harry and, that did, and the, they all, Lucas and Harry and, exactly. and, and Kirby was part of that group. Yeah, and I believe there's a documentary coming out on that soon. In the summer of 2022, seven friends had the crazy idea of doing something that had never been done before. We decided to ride one wheels from Canada to Mexico. We only had 24 days to complete an 1800 mile journey. Things are gonna get a little sketchy. We weren't sure if our equipment would hold up, but we sent it anyway, in what would become an adventure that we would remember for the rest of our lives. Would you, you're a one wheeler. I am. Would you have done it? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> uh, the full size mirror too. Okay. It's very important. Yeah, it is. You don't see it a lot either. Why is it important? 
because you need to see how you look, obviously. I didn't have a full-size mirror in my personal van for the longest time, and I honestly didn't know what I looked like half the time. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, but... Um, I don't like knowing what I look like. Yeah, I'm horrendous. So. Sometimes it's freeing, you know? <laughs> but this, I definitely appreciate this, and I think a lot of people would. Well, we're going to have to redo his wordage. Uh, I think it can fit a lot more than just 40 t-shirts. It can probably fit maybe some <laughs> some stuff below. It can fit a unicycle, apparently. It can, yeah. do, it can do quite a bit. It, it doesn't have to just fit a 40 t-shirts. Yeah, it can fit whatever you want. Um, there's a, a rack right here to hang clothes, yep. but you could add shelves. You could really customize it however which way you wanted. Abby, what else can you show me about the van before we kind of lock up here mm. and call it a day? I'm just pulling open stuff. This is an interesting drawer. You want to take a look at this, Kyle? I just pulled it open. I had no idea this did this. So to avoid the sink, they only did a little bit of a drawer, it looks like. Oh, well, but sorry to like kind of step on you a little bit. Oh, you're f <laughs> what? By <laughs> stealing my thunder? By, by stealing your thunder, it? yeah. No, it's okay. This is your video, man. This is not, this, this is good. Uh, Kirby, dude, you did a great job with this van. I actually been wanting to toy this for quite a while because it's aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Yeah, for How's sure. That? Right? <laughs> well it looks, said. It looks pretty good. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. We covered toilet, we covered shower, we covered closet. The fridge. Oh, jeez. Oh my God, that would have been bad. Uh, been detrimental. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, where is the fridge? So the fridge is another aspect that's kind of hidden in this van. And it's right under the bench. Wow. So it's a Dometic 12 volt, super efficient. You have a fridge on this side and a freezer on this side. Excellent. Can I make a suggestion? Cause Kirby's not here. Uh, let's hear it. I would love to see that fridge come out on slides. What do you think, Kyle? Absolutely. Because we don't have to lift that up now and now it can come out on slides and now we can use it that way instead of lifting this up. Does yeah, that make sense? It does. Is there a reason? The problem why? is the fridge is kind of tall. Mm. So if it was floor level, the bench might be like up here. Mm. Um, instead, he insulated the floor pretty thick and mm -hmm. kind of inset it into the floor. Okay. So that allows you to gain about four inches and have a nice height bench. See, I knew Ergonomic. there was a reason for it, but I, thank you for clearing all that up. See? You're welcome. That made, that made way more sense. So yeah, this does sit a little, not a little high, but it sits perfectly, right? Yeah, all right, cool. I would say so. All right, I You're like pretty it. comfortable? I'm very comfortable. Yeah, this is a great van. This is a great van, she says. Would you would you would you buy it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite layouts of all time, honestly. One of my favorite layouts of all time. Okay. Better than your layout in your van? That's not even a question. Of wow. course, yeah. Underneath the benches there are wicker storage. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it Do is? Do you want to get like yeah. some close ups of it? Sure. Just three baskets on each side and they just slide out like so. Real easy and simple. Yeah. We're gonna step outside, but I don't think okay. there's really much out there. You didn't do too much to the exterior components. There's no really bumpers, there's no really lifts or anything like that. Like you said, there's windows all the way around. Hopefully this isn't locked, but there's windows all the way around. He made those cuts in. You can see that because of the lighting now. Solar on the roof. Did you, did you see how much solar was up there? Uh, 400 watts. 400 watts, that's mm -hmm. awesome. So plenty of solar, obviously the DC to DC charger. I mean, this is a stealth van right here. It I didn't is. even realize that. Yeah. It's super stealth. You could sleep in the city. You probably wouldn't get bothered because it could be a car, uh, it could be a commercial van. It doesn't scream RV. It does So you can blend in pretty easy. I like it. Well, thank you so much, Abby. Again, yeah. give your information to my audience so they can maybe look you up. So my TikTok is Abby Miner. That's A-B-B-E-M-I-N-O-R. I'm sure he'll have it. I'll put it somewhere. Right here, maybe? My goodness, why does everybody do this thing? <laughs> uh, and your Instagram? And my Instagram is a.bbe. Do you know Kirby's offhand? Uh, yes, yeah. so Kirby's is Kirby Winson. K-I-R-B-Y-W-I-N-S-O-N. Okay. Kirby, like the little pink guy. Okay. All right, well, uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, check out uh, your TikTok, your Instagram, but uh, more importantly, Kirby. If you're interested in this, you're probably gonna have to DM Kirby. I don't know, thank you so much. Yeah, um, one more thing. Like, Please. Kirby wants people to DM him, so. Oh, he yeah, wants to DM. Yeah, if okay. you're interested in this van, just DM Kirby on Instagram, and he should get back to you really quick. Also, he gave me his email. Oh. Can I go look at it? Yeah. Uh, Kirby Winston at Gmail. Okay, let me no. see. Okay. I'm gonna leave so much of that in. So you can also email Kirby. 
Uh, yeah, you can also email Kirby. It's <laughs> Kirby Winson, spelt the same exact way. Kirby Winson at gmail.com. Did you want to say price or did you already say price? I don't um, really know. He no. doesn't want to? Okay. Mm, might change. Fair enough. Uh, I usually try to ask this at the end of videos. Any words of wisdom? YOLO. You only live once. Yep. Kyle, thank you so much again, buddy. Uh, your information will also be in the description below because you are a phenomenal videographer. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Much love, brother. Later. <laughs> Peace.